you know, it occurred to me that we really need to bring in sort of a economic entrepreneurship point of view to this world of, of poverty um, because that helps us think about how to help them develop. Haiti is, uh, in the last few years, they've received $3 billion in aid and there are more NGOs per capita in Haiti than any place else in the world and that was before the crisis. So, you know, we've been doing aid, we've been bringing NGOs and this poor are still with us, quite frankly, in Haiti. It, it hasn't improved the circumstances. So, um, one of the things that is important to consider going forward would be market-based approaches to helping Haiti, helping people start businesses, um, helping people understand kind of that, um, that financial pride, if you will, not even ownership, but pride in having their businesses and making a living. One of the things that we should perhaps not lose sight of is that entrepreneurship is certainly something that can help and be part of the solution in generations that perhaps are beginning to lose hope that there's anything else out there. Um, we need to start creating opportunities. It's interesting, I read a uh, very, very old document. It was from Thomas Jefferson when he was Secretary of State uh, to George Washington. Mm -hmm. And um, the situation in the United States after the Revolutionary War was quite dire indeed. In fact, we were in a depression. And one of the things that Thomas Jefferson said is, he said, the problem is we don't have any entrepreneurial opportunities in the United States.